In with me, Grihato Siddiqui, and at the top of 11 a.m., we are getting some breaking news. CNN News Agency has managed to access the December 3rd court order on the Delhi riots case. Now, a Delhi court has allowed framing of charges against former Aam Aadmi Party councillor Tahir Hussain and others in this case of stone pelting and rioting that is related to the 2020 Northeast Delhi riots. The court has mentioned in that order copy, and I'm quoting it. All accused indulged in targeting Hindus and their acts were apparently prejudicial to the harmony between communities of Muslims and Hindus. They did disturb the public tranquility through their actions. This is what has been clearly mentioned in that court order. We will try and break out, uh, break down the pointers for you in just a bit. However, this is the latest that we are picking in. Remember, this is the same court that has also absolved Uber Khalid and discharged him uh, in this uh, rights incident. However, the order copy also talks about how there was a clear attempt that was made to create disharmony between communities. My colleague Ananya has more details. Ananya, over to you. Well, uh, this order uh, is in uh, 5116 of 2020 uh, pertaining to the Delhi riots that had broken down in the uh, February month of uh, 2020 and we saw how 56 people had lost their lives. Now what the court has observed is very, very clear. It says that it was a, there was a clear-cut objective by this unlawful assembly which was led by Tahir Hussain to, uh, in fact, harm the Hindus. Uh, stones, uh, petrol bombs and other weapons, deadly weapons were actually, uh, in fact, uh, stored at Tahir Hussain's house. And all of this was to be used at the Hindus is what the court notes. In fact, it is also uh, seen that uh, um, uh, the statements have also revealed is, uh, uh, notes that uh, the statements that uh, have also revealed that Tahir Hussain and Liaka Ali were pelting stones from uh, uh, Tahir Hussain's residence and were shouting uh, in fact, Maro Saloko slogans uh, uh, is what the court has uh, clearly, uh, in fact, observed in its order, framing charges under 153A, uh, writing, arson, and um, um, other sections of the Indian Penal Court. And now, uh, on the next date of hearing, uh, Tai Rasan and uh, the others who've been framed into this particular case would be asked whether they want to plead guilty or would they claim a trial into this uh, particular case. And then we'll get to know that um, uh, whether a trial would begin in this case or not or whether Tyrus and others would be guilty. So um, somewhere or the other, uh, it's, it's a big setback for the Aam Aadmi Party as well because remember that um, Tyrus Sen was an ex Aam Aadmi Party councillor mm. and was removed only uh, only months after, uh, in fact, when, when these riots had taken place and his name had come out in all of the police uh, uh, investigations and all, um, uh, FIRs were registered against him and now, in fact, um, uh, clear-cut observations coming in from, from the court of law saying that it, there was a clear-cut objective to harm the Hindus. Also, the fact that Ananya, there were so many voices that were presented before the court, there was one such uh, uh, voice where they were also claiming that other politically political parties like, for example, the BJP was also involved in writing considering the fact that they had actually given a lot of people from, uh, let's say, a particular community that if you go ahead and write, you will, be, uh, you will, you will actually go ahead and win. You'll be given a ticket. That was... Uh, the barter deal that was actually made and that also has been put forth in the court. What is happening about that? Well, all those uh, arguments have been um, dismissed in this particular order. And uh, in fact, uh, what is very, very clear here is that uh, uh, there was no um, per, per se political party involved uh, okay. uh, as per, as per uh, the court's order. But, and and